Well, NFL free agency is uh, just about to get started, and so I figured it was high time that I got my predictions pretty much on the record as far as which 49ers free agents will stay and which will go. Uh, obviously, I'm sure I'll be plenty wrong on a lot of these, but uh, just I think there are some, some pretty good reasons to think you know that a certain player will stay, a certain player will go that could range from money to uh, other players to a whole host of reasons. We'll start from the top. Uh, guard Leonard Davis, he was signed to a one-year deal. I think it's safe to say he will be gone after this year. Uh, he was perfectly solid as that extra guard on the end in their uh, jumbo formations, but uh, with Daniel Kilgore sort of stepping up in that backup guard center role and Joe Looney having a full season to learn, I don't, I don't see any reason for Davis to be back. I think Joe Looney will end up filling that role in 2013. Wide receiver and punt returner Ted Ginn. Uh, the 49ers let him walk last year. He couldn't find a deal. He ended up coming back. I think he's gone this year. I think the team is happy with LaMichael James as a potential kick returner, Kyle Williams as a potential punt returner. Uh, there's some rumors they bring, may bring in Josh Cribbs, but even if not, I think the team is prepared to move on from Ted Ginn. Uh, he's made some contributions, but time to go. The big name, of course, is free safety Deshaun Goldson. The team elected not to franchise him. I think he's going to be gone. Uh, even if he goes to free agency and can't find that $8 million a, deal, $8 million a year deal he's reportedly looking for, I just I, I think that the 49ers are realizing that they're, they are not going to be able to resign every one of their players. And even if they can get him for you know that five to six million dollar a year range, I think they're more inclined to see what they can find in the draft, whether it be uh, Kenny Vaccaro, Matt Elam, DJ Swearinger, or Jonathan Cyprian, any any one of those guys. I think they're they're looking to go younger and cheaper at that position and kind of use that to create some more space to uh, resign other players. Linebacker Tavares Gooden. Uh, he's been exclusively a special teams player. I, I think he stays. He's uh, 28 right now. Uh, he's a solid special teams player. The team has prided itself on great special teams. Uh, they struggled at times last year, but really kind of came around late. So I, I, I think Gooden will be back. He's a guy though that really could be on the fence. It wouldn't surprise me either way if he, you know, if he was not resigned. But I think they're going to bring, bring him back to re maintain some consistency in special teams. Uh, then you've got linebacker Larry Grant. He's another guy. I actually think stays. Uh, last year, the 49ers let him look around as a restricted free agent, but he did not find a deal and ended up coming back for the restricted free agent tender. Uh, this past year, he was almost entirely on special teams with a few moments of mop-up duty behind Patrick Willis and Navarro Bowman. He's another guy that, you know, all it takes is one team to really like him. I just, I'm, I don't know if he got enough playing time to really convince other teams that, you know, we're going to roll the dice with him, you know, as a starter. And I think if he's not going to be a starter, I think he returns to the 49ers. So I think he stays. Linebacker Clark Haggins was a backup outside linebacker when Paris Harrelson went down. I think he's a guy that is gone after this year. And the reason being, they've got Darius Fleming, who they drafted last year, Cam Johnson, they drafted last year uh, in the fifth and seventh round, respectively. Fleming was out with an injury the whole year. Johnson came on late, uh, got some time to, you know, to, to get out on the field a little bit. I think they're gonna they're gonna see what they can do with those two as that backup to Ahmad Brooks and Alton Smith. They may even add another linebacker, but I think Haggins is, is probably gone. Randy Moss, I think we all know he's gone at this point. He tweeted as much uh, a few days ago. I think the team will be looking for additional wide receivers, but I think they're, they're, they really want to try and find some, some more long-term options. And Moss, it was one of those, you know, we're going to bring you in for a year and just see what happens. Isaac Sopawaga and Ricky Jean Francois are tough ones to figure out. Um, I think Ricky Jean is going to be gone after this year. I think he has gotten enough interest reportedly that it's probably it, the market's going to go up enough where they don't need you know where the 49ers just are not going to be able to resign him at the price they want. I think uh, they're not going to get into that bidding war. On the other hand, Isaac Sopawaga, they'll take a pay cut, but I think he'll be back. I think the team is is going to look for a long-term answer at nose tackle, but with a position that's only on the field about 35% of the time, I think they're going to try and bring back Isaac for uh, for a, a relatively decent deal. So I think he's back for maybe a couple million dollars a year. Tight end Delaney Walker, another one that there really haven't been a lot of rumors around him, but I think he ends up staying. I don't think there's a team that's prepared to pay him starter money. Uh, Matt Barrows is reporting that the 49ers might be willing to pay upwards of $3.5 million a year. That's, that's a tough one to figure out to see if another team is willing to give him that starter role. He hasn't gotten a lot of time. as I mean, he's gotten no time as a starter per se, but the 49ers obviously do use him a lot in their two tight end sets. 
Uh, it'll be interesting to see if, if other teams see those drops and realize, oh, maybe you know he's not quite the guy that you want to stick in that starter position. But on the other hand, he may be willing to roll the dice elsewhere to get out of Vernon Davis' shadow. I, I think he stays, but again, all it takes is one team. Uh, then you've got the restricted free agents, Tremaine Brock and Darcel McBath. I think both will stay. I think the 49ers are prepared to offer them fairly low tenders. Well, in the case of, Mc, of Brock, he'll, that original round tender basically gives them the right to match his deal, but no draft picks because he was an undrafted free agent. Uh, with Darcel McBath, an original round tender, I believe, is a second round tender, so I think that's an easy decision to make where you slap that on him and more than likely end up resigning him for another year before he hits unrestricted free agency. So there you go. These are the 49ers free agents. Uh, we'll have plenty more as free agency gets going.